It's here. There's nothing here. I guess this isn't the right time. Let's wait. What do you mean the right time? Oh, hey, would you look at that? Wait, and look. Wow, an entrance. I see. It's controlled by the tides. Who'd have thought of this? I accidentally found this the other day when I was playing. How did you find this when you were playing? Good job, Keith. All right, let's go. How on earth would you find something like this just by playing? What a weird kid. Looks like this is the hideout. That's their ship. All right, let's go. You'll take me with you, right? No. Oh, wow, rude. Why not? I can fight too. You can? You want to join our team to fight the Sinistrals? You'll be great. Listen, Keith. A truly strong man is one who can judge the strength of his own opponent accurately. Do you mean that I can't win against pirates? Misjudging strength can cost you your life. That's reality. Okay, but I want to do something too. There is one important job. Will you do it? What is it? Guarding the ship. Even if we could take out the pirate's boss, we'll still need a ship to get back. Sure, I'll do that. Leave the ship to me. I'll guard it. No matter what. I'm counting on you, Keat. Well, let's go. Alright. You just get shafted like that. My chest. Speed seat. Nice. I've been doing business here with sailors for over 50 years. You have good eyes, but don't underestimate this place. Be prepared. I I'm always- Oh wait, wh what were you gonna say? Oh, is this guy a church? No, he can't be a church. There's a save point right there. There can't be a church here. Buy an item! I didn't realize you could buy items and learn magic here. I do really want rally. Yeah. What kind of items do you have? Dude, I wish you could skip through dialogue faster. <laughs> what kind of items do you have? Not sell, buy. Definitely give me some more high potions. I don't have all the goddess tears in the world, so we're gonna need those. Alright, we're good. Yo, my chest. Giant ring? What does that do? For starters, I got the speed seed, didn't I? We're gonna actually put that on my boy, um... I don't know who we're putting that on, actually. Probably just Wayne. Chat, I forgot to get my guide out. What's this giant ring? Ooh, raises HP. Yeah, we'll give that to an- Ooh, by a hundred? That's neat. Imagine giving it to Aima and she'll be overkill. I'm not gonna do that. I think giving it- Give it to Day, yeah. Actually, you know what? Uh, Cena's HP is questionable. So, like, to remove... This might work on Cena better, because Day's HP isn't too terrible. She really has this. Yeah, no, we'll give it to, uh... Give it to Melfus. Yeah. Alright. Heal up and save, and we'll go infiltrate the, uh... Info- That uh, words. Infiltrate the pirate's hideout. <laughs> Chat, it's like... It's like 7 o'clock my time. I delayed stream because I wanted to watch the Nintendo Direct, which I'll talk about as we play the game, so... Let me get my guide up. My emulator hates when I do that for some reason. Sophia the Legend Returns Guide. Gotta make sure we're caught up to where I am. Beat the Tower Snake, the Pirate's Head, Thomas. So we're in the, uh... Pirate Island, alright. Alright. Split attack, ice attack. These are all ones we have, but again, uh, some of them can be learned by multiple characters, so getting more of them would be ideal. We'll see how it goes, though. 
Oh, this track. I love it. All right, chat. Well, I'm gonna talk about the direct while I do this junction because this game is like the perfect game to like actually just talk while I play. Very easy to autopilot. But um, Nintendo Direct wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. Like I had some enjoyment. I will say uh, I'm not really a big Kirby person. I talked about Kirby. I remember when I was doing the tier list with not the tier list, the rankings with Wildcat. I talked about uh, Kirby Return to Dreamland, which I really liked. But um, the Kirby game looked interesting. I think it was called Kirby and the Forgotten Island or something like that. It looked interesting. I I might actually play that. It comes out in spring, right? That's got to be sometime after Horizon Forbidden West. I don't have any games I'm playing, so I might actually play that game. It looked very interesting. I, I say might. I think I will. And the Monster Hunter Rise thing we got was sick because I'm interested in Rise now. Also, not for me necessarily, but the thing about the 64 and the uh, Sega Genesis was cool. I didn't really grow up much with the 64. I didn't really have any favorites like a lot of people. Like, I wasn't into Zelda. Uh, I didn't play Mario 64 that much. So, I'm not really a big N64 person, but hey, it was neat. So, I'm definitely down for that. Down for people getting what they want. Or things that make people happy. But yeah. It was a pretty okay direct. They were also announcing, like, a Mario movie, which I'm like, what? Apparently, like, Chris Pratt is, uh, gonna be the voice of Mario, which is wild. That's, like, crazy. Goodbye. But yeah, pretty okay direct. I didn't really expect much. Except the new Fire Emblem game. Of some kind. Would have been nice. But, you know. all good hey dead end yo give me two goddess tears because i feel like an idiot using my goddess tears when i didn't want to i used two of them i wanted to use one technically i used three because i uh in two scenarios technically three but my point stands i need more how's malthus dead what killed her was she dead for um was she dead for the uh boss and i didn't realize she might have been she might have been dead and I had no idea. We'll get her up, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna silhouette here. I will have Day use the revive. Hopefully she doesn't go down immediately after. How dare you, I'm glad you did that now though. Oh really, okay. And these enemies are a lot harder than I thought they'd be. These necromancers, the mage goblins, are really dangerous. Gotta work on getting rid of them. Also, how am I not faster than them? That's kind of whack. Okay. Ah. Bad start game. Yeah. Game over. That is very, very annoying. I should be faster than these mage goblins. No big deal, we just saved. I have it down. Yo, Raptor, welcome to stream. I'm in such a good mood right now. Oh, yeah, I heard they, uh, the direct, I'm sure. It wasn't bad. It was good. The Kirby game was interesting. Because I, uh, I'm not a big Kirby person, but as someone who liked Return to Dreamland on the Wii, um, I'm interested. Definitely. I would even say I'm interested that I'm definitely gonna play it. Mostly because I don't have any other games I'm playing in that time frame. But also, I'm interested. Oh, what's this Black Thunder? Okay, not as bad as the, uh, Mage Goblins. Oh yeah, Bayo 3, yeah. They also announced Bayo 3. That's right. 
I'm not a big Bayonetta person. I never played the first games, but I know that was a big deal. Because, um, people have been waiting a long time for Bayo 3. It was good. I wasn't really expecting anything. And, uh, most of the stuff is, like, not for my taste, but I know it made a lot of other people happy. Especially the thing about the 60, playing N64 and Sega Genesis. Again, that wasn't really my time. I didn't really play much. I don't really have any good, like, N64 games I would go back to, but hey, it's pretty neat. Oh, these ghosts are gonna start calling companions. Fun, fun. AO3 makes it an instant 9 out of 10 for me. It did look sick. As someone who does doesn't play band. I'm I'm glad Cena didn't die from that. Wow, these ghosts are um, rough. Don't kill anyone. All right, that's fine. Oh, finally. This game's enemies encounters can sometimes be, like, on the frustrating side. It's definitely one of the gripes I have with the game. The enemies can be either annoying or just, like, suddenly spiked in difficulty. And I hate it. If I had to pick a flaw for this game, I mean, other than the writing being terrible and very childish... Why can't I push this guy? Yeah, but other than the writing being childish and, uh, very bad, I can't think of any other flaws for this game. Like, major flaws. I guess the story itself would go with the writing. Give me some healing. But yeah, uh, Direct was good. Personal things for me, the Rise thing looked sick, the Monster Hunter Rise thing. I did not mean to go up, but I mean, while I'm here. But yeah, uh, the Rise thing looked cool, the Kirby game looked cool. The Castlevania thing I saw looked interesting. I played a little bit of Castlevania, I think it was the one... It was a DS Castlevania. I never went deep into Castlevania, I did play a DS game that was Castlevania. I remember really enjoying it. I don't remember what it was called, though, but, um, I remember it being pretty good. And me being, not invested in Castlevania, but me wanting to check out the other games, but clearly I haven't done that. Pretty okay direct, though. I'm glad my stream calmed down with issues. We're not having any problems. Ba -ba um. Oh, another path. Please give me more goddess shoes because I feel like an idiot using them on the pirate boss. I'm moving and I want you to catch me. Nice, I nailed it. Sleep powder. Okay, you can't push these guys, which is stupid, but I'll live. Yo, preemptive strike. Get, get this goblin out of here. Like, get the mage goblin out of here. He's the true threat. He's the one that caused me to get a wipeout. It's hard to believe this is only the third stream of this game. Turns out the game feels a lot slower when you play it once a week. Which I am cool with. The game isn't very long. I'm already thinking we're not like super close. Believe it or not, Chad, we're almost at the halfway point. If I had to guess, we're probably like 30 to 40% done. There, as I said, there are side quests. The major side quest being the dragon egg side quest, and there's also a few other little side quests which aren't that long. But main story-wise, we are probably like 30 to 40% done. 
It's a Game Boy Color game, though, so you know. I don't expect it to be long. The, the length is just, it comes with the territory. Um, do I want to drive you? Yeah. But yeah, if I had to vote a guess on how long the playthrough itself will be, probably 30 hours minimum. We're probably gonna get at least 30 hours of gameplay because I'm doing everything. This isn't a 100% run, so I would say 30 hours because of that. If I wasn't 100%ing, probably like 20 to 25. If I had to take a guess. Of course, that's like putting aside that we don't like have any bosses that prove to be difficult and I lose on a couple of times. That's assuming that everything goes smoothly. Oh yeah, they also announced the, uh, I saw this in, uh, Raptor's message. They also announced the, uh, Age of Calamity thing. I haven't played Age of Calamity. But I knew they were getting- I knew they were getting a, uh, second expansion for that game. Very cool. Pretty decent stuff. It wasn't like the best thing ever, but it was- it was not bad. Which, again, that's good. If- if a direct isn't bad, that's perfectly fine. Do you mind? You do mind, apparently, and I hate that you mind. Man, these golems are bulky. Just don't kill Randolph, please. Alright, that works. That also works. You know what? I think Cena, I'm gonna have her do stronger. I don't wanna gamble, she might die. I said she, Randolph might die. Farewell. Yo, giving the HP ring to Melfus was smart, I think. Not the best thing I've done, but one of. I can push this one, but I can't push the other one. It's the same enemy sprite. That makes no sense. Alright. And then we're getting a Smash character in October. They, they dropped the ball and said, yeah, we don't have a Smash character. Uh, do I want to use... I'm gonna use Stronger. Not gonna lie, until you mentioned the stuff I completely forgot existed, Bayonetta made me forget about everything. Totally fair! I'm gonna be honest, I forgot about the Monster Hunter stuff, but then I remembered it suddenly because I saw Wildcat, uh... I saw Wildcat talking about it in Discord, so I remembered it. If Wildcat hadn't... If I hadn't seen the message from Wildcat, I would have forgot about it, probably. If I had to guess. I'm aiming on the Mage Goblin, because he's annoying. Oh, Randolph's dead. Luckily, there's only one. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna break your heart, Raptor. I don't like, uh, Breath of the Wild. I tried it. I tried Breath of the Wild, I didn't really like it. Then again, Zelda isn't really my franchise. But Breath of the Wild specifically, I have played. And I was not a fan. I played like five hours of it, and I was just like, eh. Not for me. The only Zelda game I plan to play is probably Twilight Princess, and that's only because I have nostalgia for it. Other than that, I don't plan to play another Zelda game. Or a Zelda game for that matter. I say another as if I played one. Please kill the mage goblin, he's annoying. Thank you. 